this Eversys Academy video, we're going to explore espresso calibration. So I'm going to go straight into the machine where we're already at the main menu. And we're going to go straight into products and keys. And on this menu, we're going to see two things. We're going to see a list of parameters for whichever drink is selected. And on the right hand side, a little version of the main screen so we can see which drink we're adjusting. In this case, I'm going to adjust the double espresso. And I'm going to go through each of these options and talk about what you can change. So right at the top, you can see we have this little icon that's showing a double espresso. We can click that and we can change it for a range of different images. But I like this one. I'm going to stay there. You can also see that it's got a little icon with a timer. That means it's got ETC activated and we can talk about that in a separate video. You can also see that the right hand hopper is being used. So that's the one we're using at the moment, but we can change all of those elements. If we go into key name, we can change how the key is described on the screen. This says two times espresso. We could call it doppio or double, but I like that. You see our bean hopper that's currently on the right, and we can move that to left. And when we do that, we'll see that the color icon changes and the left hopper is highlighted. But I'll go back in and go to right. On some of the other machines, this will be front and rear, depending on where the grinders are and what we have. The next two settings are the ones you'll be most familiar with if you've made coffee on a traditional setup. So we have water quantity, which you can equate with yield. It's how much espresso comes out. And we can measure that directly from this programming setting. And then we have cake thickness, which is the equivalent of dose. It's how much dry coffee you're using to make that espresso. And we're gonna do this a little bit backwards. We're going to check the cake thickness first. If we get that right, and then we can go back in and check the yield. So cake thickness is described in millimeters. If I click onto it, you'll see that we have a few buttons here. We have an up arrow, which will increase the cake thickness or the powder quantity. And we have a down arrow, which will bring it down. We have product test, which will test the whole product. So if we want to make an espresso and taste it, we can try that there. But we also have powder test. And that's a really useful tool because that helps us think of this machine the same way we would with a traditional machine. We can measure the same thing that we would from a grinder. And to do that, we're going to need a set of scales. On this machine, we're going to lift the steam arm up and pull the drip tray up also. And we'll slide out our grind straw. And we can drop this on the scales. We can tear it so we get a nice zero. And once we have a zero, we insert this back into place and push powder test. You'll hear the machine grinding the coffee just as if it was brewing a dose. And once it's finished grinding, we can then slide out the grind straw and see what weight we have. So here we have 18 grams. And my goal for this coffee is looking for 18 to 18 and a half grams. Once I have that, I know that I can move on to the next stage of my recipe. Because that's a touch under, I'm just gonna push it up by 0.2 mils. That'll increase the amount of coffee and I'll try again. So I'll just insert it, do another powder test. and double check. Excellent. So now I'm on 18.3. That's exactly where I want to be in the middle of my recipe. So I can reinsert my drawer, drop down the drip tray, and now we can move on to the next setting. So now we're going to look at the water quantity, which like I said, relates to yield. Now for this, again, the easiest way to measure what we have is to use our scales, put them in place, Grab a cup and go to learn quantity. This is gonna brew a double espresso following the recipe that's set. We're gonna tear the scales. We're gonna watch the espresso pour. And when the weight gets to just two grams ahead of where we want it to finish, we'll push stop. So where we pushed learn quantity and that says, please wait. And once it starts brewing, it will come up saying stop. And we'll just watch those scales and because I want to get 36 grams out, I'm gonna stop just before I hit 34 grams. The extraction time is set separately and we'll use the ETC to do that in a separate video. And I stopped that just before I hit 34 and we finished at 36.1 grams. So now I know that both the dose and yield of this recipe are correct. 
and I can move on to some of the other settings that really affect extraction. So as we go down the menu, we can also see tamping. We can adjust the pressure that's used when we tamp, but I'm gonna keep this at 20 kilos. That's a good setting for the double espresso. We have a pre-infusion and a relaxed time, both of which I find work really well on a single espresso extraction, but I'm gonna leave them at zero for the double espresso. And we have this last setting, second tamping. Second tamping is actually the tamp being retracted, creating room in the brewing chamber for the coffee puck to expand. And that's really useful for the double espresso. I have this set at minus two mil, but we can push this up and down depending on our taste preferences. And again, the more we taste the espresso, the more we work through the ETC system, the better we can understand the flavor impact. We'll look at that in another video as well. So that's my double espresso settings. I'm gonna pull straight out and we are ready to move on to our next video.